Ladies and gentlemen, man, we are back in the building. Welcome back to the greatest show on the African continent, man. You know how it is. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, if this is your first video, damn, man, enjoy this shit, y'all. What's up? So, man, yo, rat, 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 rat. We got our boy, 6 9 man. The man who done stirred up the rap game and turned himself into the most hated rapper in the world, man. The man, when you think of rats, you think of him. When you think of trash rap, you think of him, man. The king troll himself, ladies and gentlemen. The guy who was a SoundCloud rapper and grew up in the nitty gritty poverty, ladies and gentlemen. And frequently went to bed hungry. And wore clothes that came from the trash, ladies and gentlemen. And lost a close family member, which would in turn get him fired or um, kicked out of school, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Daniel Hernandez was born on May the 18th, 1999. And was born in Brooklyn, New York, with both parents and a brother. He is a mixed Hispanic. Ooh, la, la. And man, he has 6 9 tattooed over his body more than 200 times, ladies and gentlemen. Yee. And it says, man, it's something that represents his struggle. So, let's get to it. Number one, trash can clothes. Yeah, man, the boy was dirt poor, and he would often go to bed hungry. And man, he would have large grrr, hunger pains. You know what it is, man. His mom once gave him shoes that she got from the trash. And when he wore one of those shoes to school, man, when he wore those shoes to school, one of his classmates saw him and be like, ah, yeah, when, ha, ah, those belonged to me before I threw them away. Damn, that must have been awful. Good. Yeah, yeah. Number two, call me Mr. Popular. I be Mr. Popular. And oh, you cannot sit with us. You can really vote with us. Despite being in poverty, man, Mr. 69 was popular at school. He was never bullied, man. And he was the class clown. Shut up, baby. Yeah, yeah. And man was himself. When he was 13, his father got murdered. Steps away from their family home, man. Man. And after that, he became a troublesome child, ladies and gentlemen, and got kicked out of school. And since his father was dead, he had to stand up and become the man of the house. Number three, making the bread, the guala, the cash, ladies and gentlemen. The boy needed to help his mom pay the bills, man, and he didn't love his mom crying. So, the boy became a busboy and got fired because he wasn't really strong enough, ladies and gentlemen. And he would get jobs, but him and his brother ended up selling weed to make it in his what rap career man and he had different taste of music man the boy listened to parkway draft and all that reminds and he spent more time with his bro and you know what it is man they grew the empire hey they grew the empire of their drug business and man they sold at a bodega and he got caught when he got caught man he tried to beat up the store manager and he didn't beat him up good ladies and gentlemen the boy got charges for narcotics and assault and he had to spend time on the island Rikers one time number four name brand clothes yeah man as a kid from poverty man he wanted to fill that hole of not having man you know but yeah man the boy started out with what creating his unique style man and since he had that unique style that garnered him some clout and popularity on the gram and before the music the boy was 
popping. He had clout, ladies and gentlemen, because he wore an outfit called Pussy <laughs> Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and yeah, man, that outfit turned into a meme, and the boy became famous just like that. You know what it is? There's so many strange ways of becoming, excuse me, famous. Number five, scum gang. Society cannot understand me. You know what it is. That's your scum gang, ladies and gentlemen. Society can't understand me. That is the, you know, the abbreviation. Yeah, the full name of the abbreviation. I think it's an abbreviation. Um, yes, man. He, he says, man, you know, it's for all the social outcast kids out there. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen. It's just for them, man. You know what it is. He started recording at the age of 25. I'm just kidding, man. At the, at a, in his early teens, you know what I'm saying. And he did it for fun, ladies and gentlemen. He started as a SoundCloud rapper, but he never had a SoundCloud or a YouTube channel. That's how it is, man. And he released music on the Fuck Them channel, ladies and gentlemen. A label based in Slovakia. Collabed with him as well. In 2017, he collabed with Jay Stash and Zan Black, and they created Egizodia and Makamokia and Trippy Red, and him became mates over the gram, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, man, they became friends over at Bad Comments. One fan dropped the Bad Comments. Yeah, man, and then you know what? Six Nine stood up for Trippy Red, and then Trippy Red like, yeah, man, you know what it is, dog. And then yeah, you know what it is, man. They would feature each other, man, and have a video. But that was back in the day before he didn't did them dirty dirties you know what i'm saying number six he's beef and then yeah man his troubles began man the slick hammy slick hammy six nine oh yo, yo, it began with the slick hammy oh what's his name shit zilik or zilik i don't know man it's z hammy let's say it that way and six nine man took care of him and did not beat him okay him and mr hammy basically used to live together ladies and gentlemen you know what uh six nine says he used to feed him he used to dress him man you know what it is man bought him jewelry and all that stuff but man mr hammy says hey when a six nine you slept on my couch bruh and i paid for you 20k to get you out of bail cause you done slept with some other thing and she went to report your EF yeah you got what I'm saying so yeah man that's just how it is that's just how it is man him and his beef with our Z hammy number 7 rat 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 the boy in 2019 man was on some try ish and you know what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen got whipped got bam 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 landed up in the hospital you know what it is and a year later was arrested man and he turned snitch exposing gang related people in the music industry like Cardi B 21 Savage <laughs> many more rappers see Breezy <laughs> I never said ish just like 6 9 I'm a rat 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 making money scat scat yeah <laughs> You know what it is, man. It's Trey Way. And the boy really made a big name for himself. Like, after he ratted out, his career skyrocketed, man. His thingy, his music videos became like pornography, ladies and gentlemen. And they spread throughout. Fifi sitting on a 947 million views, if I'm not mistaken. You can go check that out yourself. But it's sitting on some large numbers. And you know the boy's doing well for himself. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, number eight. I just want the money, 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 homie. The boy has seven million dollars in the bank account. Thank you for tuning in, man. And we love watching the rat, rat, rat. It's all a baby. Mucho.